Man, nowadays you'd be spending thousands upon thousands of dollars on different graphs, and who can blame us though as bass fishermen so committed to doing whatever it takes to catch those fish and win those tournaments? Rather, we're talking about live scope on the garments or live action on Laurel Rance, Hummingbird, you name it. Well, I've kind of learned some lessons the hard way about mounts on front of my boat. So I have on mine, I got a 10 inch Garmin 1006, and then I got a Helix 12, 12 inch model. That's what I got up here. So I need need the hardware to hold both of these things and they weigh a ton they really do they weigh a lot of weight they weigh a lot and that's something you have to keep in mind so you want to get good material and there are several on the market but so my big mistake was i just selected the wrong choice i got a amount here by bass boat technologies and i'm not going to tell you it's a bad product it's not but i've had some issues issue number one issue number one i want to show up i got different screws here this screw that's what the boat came with. This screw, that's one of Andy Buster's. That screw. Now you can see, original, bigger, much bigger. I got another one down here, if you can see that, another one there. Why did that happen? Why do I have so many different screws? Well, on this boat, the nitro, so they, they make this to custom fit the nitro. They fit right here on this panel. But it vibrates on the road. It vibrates on the water. All that it is is a screw that goes straight down. There's no nut underneath holding in a place. So what happened? You see me on the water. I kind of like the big waves and I like running around. I'm pretty aggressive. And well, it just shook those loose and those screws no longer fit. I had to keep putting bigger screws in. That's a real pain. I mean, how big is it going to be in another two years or let alone five years? So that's a big issue I've had to get fixed. And it's something I did not think about before I purchased it. And it's 300 bucks I paid for this. Another concern is I have Garmin Live Scope. See right here, I got the perspective mount to go with it. If you don't have one of these things, you need to get one. Regardless, now look where I've mounted this and where this thing is set to be. This thing is crunched. I got it right now in the forward motion. I can't get it down to perspective. I can't move it around much at all. It's completely jammed, completely crowded. So I don't get the, I can't maximize what I have here. This is way too close to the shaft. This really belongs about right here. So that's another issue I've got. So now that I've got the experience that I've made the mistakes that I have, I now realize I need to get a mount that really comes back several inches to give me all the clearance I need. But hey, I'm gonna tell you, you gotta think about what kind of fisherman are you? Oh, what, are you serious? What kind of fisherman are you? Are you so, someone who's gonna go up shallow and skip a lot of docks? Do a lot of pitching underneath docks? or in the shallows, or you're gonna spend most of your time way offshore. And that can impact where you need your space. See, where I live in Northern Indiana, I spend time in Lake Erie, Lake St. Clair, but also our little lakes going up shallow and skipping the docks. I'm skipping docks. I like this space right here. Out of Lake Erie, don't need it. I'd strongly recommend, if you have the option, to check out and try different mounts. Now, I, I hunter fish here. I'm blessed with a lot of opportunities, including hanging out with my man Joe here of Straight Up Mounts. And what we're doing is we are making sure everything fits my needs. It's harder to do when you're online surfing and checking to find the best one, which is what I did with the BBT model. I, I did the absolute best I could, and I, I have regrets. 300 bucks later, and I'm getting a new one. But if you have the option, if you have the chance or an opportunity to just talk to somebody, like I know Joe's always available to talk to and get, where he can share a whole bunch of his experiences with people using his mounts all the way down and fork Lake Fork in Texas, all the way up to Traverse City in, North, in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, all the way out to New York. Italy. And even across seas in Italy, believe it. We're no kidding, Italy? Hey, so Sweden. Louise. Sweden? Okay, what do I know? He's just Sweden. blowing across the entire, I didn't know he's international. I didn't know you were international yet, Joe. He's, he's international, international Joe is who he is. But if you get that opportunity, I strongly suggest it. Because you can see it's starting to come together. Starting to come together, it's gonna to work out, gonna have suit all of my needs and fix all my problems. So when you set your graph up, you got all these different holes. And you need to use those. Use those to see what is the absolute best setting for you and the style of fishing that you're gonna do. Again, about where you're gonna spend most of your time up here when you're using your trolling motor reading your graphs. Remember to consider your trolling motor and the cable. Come through, and you gotta make sure your cable is going to be how you want it. That's a little too figure eight-ish for me, so I'm going to adjust that. I want to make sure, look at the mount I'm trying, starting to put on here. It's going to go right underneath, but I don't want too much of a figure eight. Would definitely recommend, stand, before you tighten everything down, 
come up here and stand on it. Even put a fishing pole in your hand, pretend you're fishing. To make sure it's exactly the way you're gonna want it. Before I tighten anything down, I'm gonna check on my live scope here. See, I'm moving it to the place that I want to. I'm gonna make sure it works. Make sure I got the perspective and the forward mode. I'm gonna work without any problems whatsoever. Straight up mouth uses quarter inch marine grade aluminum powder coated. And one advantage of that is that if you if you want to adjust the holes, just drill your own holes. So you got quarter, quarter ounce. Quarter 20. Quarter 20, it's called that, yeah. Stainless steel going straight through here, gonna be held together with some locking nuts. As he told me, be able to hoist this boat up with those bolts, three of them on each side. And I was talking about beforehand about all the vibration, all the shaking that's caused that damage. Not anymore. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ain't going nowhere. Bring it on Lake Champlain. Bring it on Lake Michigan. Oh, what does ain't going anywhere. Coming together nice. You can see I'm going to have my cables for my Garmin coming up through here. Back here I'm going to have my cables for my Humminbird here. That's straight up, ain't it? And there you have it. Now all my issues are resolved. Issues are resolved because I actually paid attention to what I needed and picked out the perfect mount that I've got. And my mount here, as you can see, it's, it's a five it's a five inch. And I got both of them on here. And, and there's the guy there who did it for me. So Joe, real quick question. The mistake I made was I, I found something online and it just didn't work out. So what you tell me the biggest mistake you see people make when they install a mount for the grass the hardware that they use to mount it to the deck it's got to be full threaded stainless steel with nylon nuts and washers torque them down you're good to go saw him stand on it you know them suckers ain't going any way and if you have any questions put those in the comments below links to the facebook page on below i know joe is really fast at responding to questions on his facebook page or send a message to him so anyway straight up mounts is, where, is what I now have on my boat proudly and links to all that straight up mounts are down below in the description. Thank you, Joe, very much. Now, no disrespect, but it's time to go have a blast with some small mountain bass, baby.